If you don't have a plan for your money, everyone else will have one for it. Remember, it doesn't matter how much money you make. What matters is how you spend it and how much money you save from it. Welcome to Financial Creatives. My name is Alex Mwangi and in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step formula on how to budget and save money. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button and give me a like as we continue. Today's video is going to be different. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step method on how you can budget your money and be able to save something extra for your future endeavors. So let's go to my computer and let me show you how to do it. Well, here we are. Uh, before we continue, there are several things that I would like you to know about budgeting. So a budget is just a tool that expressly tells you where your money is going. It is your spending plan. So it highlights all your incomes and all the expected or actual expenditures for the month and enables you to track all your expenditure to the dot. So this is one of the most important tools that you can have because it doesn't limit your freedom. In fact, it gives you the freedom to spend your money without feeling cute and be able to execute your money in a wise way, ensuring that you also save for your future. Now, let's go to this budget template that I have prepared for you. I've made it actually very simple. As you can see here, we have uh, our income section and our expenditure section too. So these are the two elements of any budget. All other things are just a, a summary of the data to give you a highlight uh, in expense categories like now we will be having savings and investment category loan repayment household expenses transport entertainment self-care spiritual spiritual charities insurances and this will give you a total which will <coughs> of which it's pulling from this template i've also prepared a very nice uh, pie chart here to show you a visual appeal of your expenditure and income levels. So let's go right into it. So we have our income, uh, starting with your net salary. I've actually populated it with some data so that it can give us a easy time and we'll be able to work over it quickly, more quickly. So we have our income had 1,000 we have other incomes this is where you put all your incomes whether you have any side hustle or you have dividend income interest and this is where you put everything so that you can be able to recognize it and plan for late in your financial plan so you can see here we have given this man or lady a an income of 119,000. Now, when we go to expenditure, I have strategically indicated here, it's pay yourself first. Remember, whenever you get your money, you have to think about paying yourself first. Because if you don't pay yourself first, nobody else will. You'll always incur expenditure on other things and forget what really matters to you and that is your future so here we have all sort of savings from saving policies circle savings if you have a chama this way you put your this way you real you categorize your expenses you have an emergency fund car insurance fund repair fund most of these we call them a sunk funds these are funds where you keep money that is money that you expect to this way you keep money that you expect to spend maybe in future so it helps you save that money 
easily so that uh, you can realize your future goals we are going to look at this maybe in future and i'm gonna i'm going to uh, take you through different types of sunk fads and their importance and why you should have a uh, sunk fads in your financial plan so we go to the second category in our expenditure is loan repayments you can see this guy has a loan car loan chama loan and uh, he is also paying help he might be having other mobile loans i have not indicated that so we go to household expenses you can see these are actually most of them are needs Another thing in budgeting you have to recognize, you have to understand the difference between a need and a want. Needs are things that you can't do without. But wants are things that you can cut or eliminate in your financial plan because either you can survive or you can do without them. And that is one point where you can save more money and be able to achieve other uh, goals so we go uh, to transport section there's a transport section here this guy is incurring that uh, with a total of 16 percent and that is giving us a percentage of 13 percent of the total income then we have entertainment this way you categorize things like go tv dstv internet lunch road trips, you can budget for them here. Remember, we want to give every shillings a purpose. We want to direct our money to where it should go. Because remember, if we don't do that, someone else will have a plan for it. So we go to self-care, uh, there's hair care, dry cleaning, include other details, other expenses that you might be incurring in this section. We go to spiritual charities. Here, you remember to pay your tithe. There is parents impressed. There is spouse, children impressed. Also, freight support and something else we call black tax. If you don't know what black tax is, these are financial obligations that people meet to their relatives or family or close or close friends so these are like social obligations it's not a must you do it but you feel obligated to help your friends help your relatives meet their needs <clears throat> so we go to insurances uh, these can include medical insurance life insurance domestic insurance house insurance or even property insurance now given the amounts that i had populated in this budget we are realizing a net cash flow this guy is having negative of 16,000 shillings now imagine this is you you have just included all your expenses and you see this red don't panic because this why this tool is important you are able to realize that you are spending more than you are earning so you have two options in this when when you have two options when it comes to this you either reduce your expenses or you increase your income so you can go back here and identify things that are not needs but are wants so you can reduce here th these expenses so that you can have a zero budget a zero budget means that all your incomes is all your income is accounted for and the result and here will be zero but we definitely want these to be green but not red so let's go back to a, a budget and we can adjust something like clothes or dry cleaning we can put these to 1200 right so what else can we can we reduce here we go to we can reduce also this impress to 2500 this is actually subjective. You'll actually be able to identify what expenses you can reduce. For expenses, let's work with a thousand. Uh, boundary shopping, you can also uh, work with eight five. Let's see where we are now. 
we are at 13,000. Remember, reducing expenses is just one of the ways you can adjust your finances or your budget to reflect or to balance. So we can think out of the box and go straight away to income. We need to increase our income so that we can meet our lifestyle or our immediate needs. So here you can introduce another side hustle. Maybe this side hustle is going to give you 10,000. Let's indicate that 10,000. And if you're wondering what types of business or side hustles that you can start, I just finished, I finished, <clears throat> you can check my video on 50 plus business ideas that you can start and make money right here in Kenya. And uh, now we can see that, what is a uh, Asia? We have 3,000. 100. So we can identify other things that we can reduce here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eating out, give it to 2,500. So we are at 2,600. Let's see. Where else? Where else can we really... Uh, take this mm -hmm. so generally uh, I don't want us to mess with this because you need to be saving and you better reduce other expenses uh, rather than uh, touching on your on your rather than touching on your savings and investment so here we can also come and uh, reduce the parking fee to 1200 and also bus fare this is a bit much so now we have 1000 to go 1000 to go where can we get this mm, huh. let's indicate right let's let's maintain this at 2000 we have 500 to go So internet, we are paying this. So we can as well do with 1,000. Yeah, we are still on the red. Uh, let's see. 15, 1,400. This is a monthly budget. So you see, now we are in the green. That means that our expenses are below our incomes which is a good thing and this is you should always strive at achieving this otherwise you be living above your means so we can see our graphical representation here is that our you can be able to track your expense here and see what is the biggest percentage of your expenditure and also this um, graph <laughs> this uh, Fish, this graph is also showing you some really nice colors here. You also see, able to see your percentages and everything else. So that's how we budget actually. Now, one thing before we wrap this up. Now, you realize that these expenditures, when you are first starting to budget, they will be estimates of your monthly expenditure. Now, I would like you to track your expenses for about one month so that you can come up with uh, some realistic values here. And you can do that by using this tool that I also provide you with. And that is called Mandre Tracking, Mandre Expenditure Tracker. Here it, is, here it is. Now I've prepared this for you. So you can see this is for week one. We have expenditure tracker week two, week three, week four, week five. You can actually go up to two months because that will give you a reasonable or more accurate expenditure figure uh, to use for your budget. Now, when we come to expenditure tracker, let's say you are on a Monday. So what you need to do is every little expenditure that you incur for that day record it down in the evening 
come to your Excel sheet and record that expenditure down. This is going to be your task. If you want to change the direction your finances are going, you need to be doing this. You need to track your expenditure. Come, if you take tea, airtime, record it. And anything you, you write here, you get a weekly total here. So if you add something else, uh, let's say uh, with 200, see? The, total has, the weekly total has just changed. So eventually, you'll be able to identify which section or category of your expenditure is taking most of your money and how you can adjust accordingly. Well, well, that's all about the budgeting now. So I believe that this one will take you so far. And if you are going to do this one thing, I'm sure your financial trajectory is going to change. And remember, this is one of the most important tools and you need to share it with your friend. Help your friend because if you help them, you'll succeed together. Oh, I'm glad you're still here with me. Now, I've just showed you the straightforward way on how to make your personal budget in a reasonable manner. Now, go to the description below and download your template and start using it today. Remember, sharing is caring. Identify three of your best friends and share with them this video. Remember, when your friends succeed, you succeed too. Until next time, take care.